Welcome back, fellow industry associates. My name, of course, is Obito Potato, and this is Automation Empire. So, at the end of the last episode, I uh, I left you this setup. We were uh, a little bit short of cash, weren't able to to fully get this uh, to get this area properly developed. But now it has been fully developed. We have got a whole bunch of pure coal being refined into wonderful, wonderful research points. Still not really entirely certain why I can't get uh, the crate gate up and running, but I'm not going to let that deter me. We're going to, uh, we're going to progress as if there was no impediment in our, uh, in our way. Anyway, the good news is that this area is actually processing more than enough coal. In fact, it's processing so much coal that I think I, I think I honestly need to think about some other form of, uh, some other form of output for this area. So what I think we're going to try and do is, I think we're going to take, I think we're going to take this road up right here and we're going to lay, we're going to lay some special, that's right, some special depots right over here. And this should theoretically, there we go, that in there. Don't go slow, please. Do not go slow. That's the goal. Don't go slow. No slow trucks is what I like. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do that over there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to extend this uh, minecart track up this way. Always, as as ever, clicking on the uh, the wrong button there. And extend this up here, this up here, grand, uh, to about there. Well, maybe we want to take it back just a smidgen, just a smidgen rooney. That's a technical measurement right there. Uh, yep, come across here, grand, three thousand nine hundred. I mean, that is that is that is really an absolute bargain, I must say. Uh, then we'll get a suck upper. That's right, a suck upper, a big old vat, and then we'll immediately shell out 38 grand in in power, and that will that will make me very very sad, very very sad in fact. Very very sad. How are we doing? How are we doing in terms of selling iron off? We're not doing too badly. We're not doing too badly. Uh I I think maybe maybe we could have a similar sort of setup over over here as to what I'm actually creating now. Anyway, what I'm creating right now is is just gonna be it's just gonna be a simple system. So any of the leftover any of the left leftover processed coal, the regular coal that has gone through the three factories, the three not the three factories, the three research bays. So after it's been stuck into the research bay from uh, from these two from these two pots over here, it's gonna be sucked up over over yonder. Hold on. I, I was waiting to say, let's pause whilst I've got, you know, loads and loads and loads of money. But now, of course, I, I don't have any money anymore. Uh, then this can go over there like so. Grand. Let's unpause. Wait for a couple of trucks to arrive. And that should, that should sort us out. That should sort us out. We'll do a few unload stations here. There we go. Like so. Drone priority. Medium. Great. That can be picked up with anything. That can accept uh, all resources. That's medium priority. That's medium priority. It's a crate maker already. So let's make sure that we've got the power set up over to here. There we go. Except that's not how it works. Factory power doesn't travel within a certain factory. So we're going to have to get another another crate maker. Uh, another crate maker. Another power pull. Okay, anyway. So the situation is... Situation is is that we should have drones operating in this area and they should take the the processed coal From the crate over to where it needs to be on the truck on the back of a truck, which is quite nice. Uh, I am Concerned that I still have still have sort of drone commitment issues But the good news is the good news is is that gold production has literally never been better I mean we have been going absolutely full tilt at this at this gold production for for a while now and we're getting we're getting good money from it. We're getting good money from it. We're getting very, very good results from it. That's that's what matters, right? That's what matters. It's a little bit power intensive, but I mean, what can you do? Not very much. Any any research that's been unlocked by that uh, by that unlock? No, nothing. Nothing major. What we need to consider, right? What we need to consider is we need to keep in mind that we need research. Oh no! Hold on. Don't accept gold. Just don't accept gold over here. Just accept, in fact, just accept coal. There we go, and just accept coal over here as well. I don't know if there's a way to like limit the, 
limit the area that they work in? I don't think that there is. I think that they just, they just, they, they roam wild and free. They roam wild and free, which is, which is pretty darn, which is pretty darn terrifying, actually, when you think about it. You know, sort of an iRobot situation. Don't want that to arise. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah. I mean, look, this setup, it's not, it's not perfect, but I think it works. I think it works. It's, it's netting us, it's netting us a, a, a healthy chunk of change. Uh, let's see if we can, if not, get any actual upgrades for whatever reason. Yeah, so the, the, the claw train is unlocked. The the claw gate is still off limits, irritatingly. Maybe it's got to do with the fact that I haven't shifted enough goods. I haven't shifted enough cargo. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that. I okay, I think I need to read I think I need to redo this area. I think I need to redo this area like quite substantially. And I think, you know, the way that I'm gonna do it, I think we need to move all of our all of our lorry depots to a central a central line here, rather than get it, you know giving them ridiculously long routes on which to operate. I think we need to I think we need to simplify things just a little bit. Okay, let's ditch that there. Yeah, ditch that there. I know I may be playing with fire a little bit by doing this, but I think it's the best it's the best thing that we can possibly do. So we're gonna move we're gonna move absolutely everything right to the center of the map. There's no further trucks that are going to be allowed to, to get into this area, but that's okay. How's this area looking? This this is this is not looking too bad. This is looking fine. Yeah, absolutely A-OK -okay over there. Let's wait until these trucks are, are fully loaded up, and then let's dispatch. That's on high priority. That can be on high priority as well. Great. These two trucks are going to be dispatched. I want to make sure that we get just the right amount of money to make this whole setup possible. There we go. So just destroy this on the way out. That truck is going to get stuck over there. That's to be expected in all honesty. Okay. Sell that. Sell that. And any more any more trucks uh, of goods that are going to come down here? I don't think so. Okay, one more one more truck of goods. We're a little a little ways off the next power payment. That's fine. Okay, good. 37, 37 and a half thousand is, is a pretty, is a pretty darn good number. Okay, so let's, let's do what I, what I envision is probably gonna, well, hopefully, seriously optimize the setup. So now we're just gonna convert it into three, three bays. These bays are not gonna be able to do gold, but they're gonna be able to do absolutely everything else. That can be on high priority, that can be on high priority. And what we're going to simply do, what we are going to simply do is we're going to move Oh my goodness, I accidentally destroyed a drone. I don't know what the refund cost of a drone is, but I hear they're not cheap. Right, sell that. Sell that. And sell this. That's a power cable that I just connected as well. I disconnected, which is always wonderful. Always wonderful when you make a mistake like disconnecting a power cable. Anyway, come down over here. Cool. And come out over this way. And right under here, as you can probably tell, we're gonna put some we're gonna put some of these things. Great. Absolutely great. And then we'll have a drop-off point for the claw train. Uh, you know, we'll get we'll get a second drop-off point for the claw train just in case. Uh, that's gonna go back the other way. Is there any reason that it needs to no i mean we could make this a circular system but there's absolutely no reason to make it a circular system what we're going to do is we're just going to disconnect that right over there and so that'll just ping it between this end over here and that end over there we've already got 12 claws on there perfect this is going to be high priority for the for the drones this system is going to need to be connected up somehow uh oh i have an idea I have an idea. Well, first of all, I could have planned this a heck of a lot better than I actually have. I mean, I just created that brand new area and then decided to completely scrap this whole this whole setup. But let's do this and then pick up point over there and then that down there. And you know what? At this point, we might as well we might as well just go around in circles. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Okay, that's this area is going to change for sure. But I mean, this is a, a setup that we've got 
you know, for a little while. Anyway, so the thought process is, is that all resources should be delivered right here. What I'm going to do with the gold area is simplify that as well. So we're going to, we're going to take the gold into, into three, three tracks in a sort of very similar way that we've done this. And that way is that we really are cutting down on the amount of time that, that lorries are moving around and sort of, you know, just annoying the process and making it just that little bit, uh, that little bit more inefficient. Okay, so yeah, you guys come down here, you pick up all of the crates. Bish, bash, bosh, boosh, bish, bash. Nice. Uh, I will put another sort of collection point right over, right over there. Oh, this is, this is, uh, no, put this on off. Leave that on. No priority for the drones, I'm afraid. No drones on there. Okay. So this seems to be working just a little bit smoother. And it should allow us just to get the lorries, just allow us to get that lorries, the lorries moving just that little bit quicker across the map, which which means more money. And let's let's be real, is that we need to think about um, we need to think about expanding the amount of stuff that we're shipping off at the moment. So it would be really really great to do that. I need to add more carts to this to this thing over here because we need to we need to start shipping. More and more crates over here. That's for sure. Uh, this this system is horrifically inefficient. It, it really it really is very very poor. Very very poorly designed. I wonder who by. Yeah, absolutely me. Okay. And this is gonna be this is gonna be the way in which we get a heck of a lot of coal out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, we need to we need to definitely move this area closer to closer to up here though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's wait until all of the resources are picked up, and then let's just ditch this. Yeah, ditch this. Yeah, take this all back. I can. I didn't even need those power poles. That's the ridiculous thing. I didn't even need those flipping power poles, which I painstakingly crafted. Okay, so minecarts is going to come right out here, and... We'll get a similar sort of setup. We'll get a similar sort of setup, which is the suck-off station. That's right. I said it. Suck-off station right there. And then a crate maker right here. Yeah, crate maker right there. Uh, and then we'll get a little bit of a an unload station just like so. I'm not decided on if I want to enable drones to collect from here. Yeah, that's going to need a little bit of further thought because I could I could elect to move the resources via claw train. Oh, uh, this is also a little bit of a little bit of a problem over here. We need to extend this out. Okay, apparently I'm just going to reconnect that over there. Fine. Just do that. Reconnect that over there and ditch that bit. That will allow me a little bit more, a little bit more space. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. What I think I'm, what I think I want to do is I want to just move the claw train location to over here. So I think, I think I'm gonna just extend, extend the length of claw train. Yeah. So let's. Let's take that all back. Take that all back, and then immediately, of course, get get hammered with a massive, massive, massive bill. All right, that's wonderful. But I mean, look at this. This this looks great. This looks really, really great. The only thing that's slowing us down is the fact that the drones are constantly sort of flitting across the map in order to get back to to where they went uh, down in the gold section over there. Okay, wait until we've sold these two trucks. That's grand. Yep, and the next truck of gold. Perfect. Okay, and then pause, and then let's let's do this. Okay, so let's get some unload stations. Yep, twenty grand worth of unload stations. That seems pretty pretty reasonable. Okay, and then all the way up here, twenty grand, and then we want to we want to drop off. Uh, it should be the other direction. That's fine. You know what? Let's make this a circular route. Why? I have no idea. Can I even make it a circular route? 
I should be able to. Grand. Okay, make it a circular route, and we can afford to just ditch that, ditch that, and then we can really cut this off over here. There we go. Unpause for a brief moment. Let that ping around and back up. There we go. And then cut that over there and get this connected up over here. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful, okay. And then, then the grand plan is to Okay, well, this is not a super grand plan. It's it's a plan for sure, but it's not a not a grand plan. Uh, yeah, take this back, take this back, and then hold on, unpause a little bit, let it go forward, and then put a hole right over there. Perfect. And now we will get this claw train route connected to connected to there. Okay, perfect. Much easier just to use a little a little corner piece, dedicated corner piece, rather than faffing around with things too much. There we go. Okay, so that's going to have a drop-off point right over here. Let's ditch this bit of road, ditch that bit of road, and let's even see if we can get some... No, we can't do that. Although, in fact, we could do that. Sure. Get that set up, and then that can go over there. Grand. So we're not left with very much money, but we've got a couple more, a couple more trucks of gold, which are going to come through in just a second. We are about to be pummeled with a monstrous electricity bill, though. So it would be great if I could sort this before. It'd be great if I could sort this before the issues started to arise. That drone needs to be put on there. That needs to be put on high priority. Everything, everything around here needs to be put on high priority. This should only be gold. And this should only be gold as well. Okay, we've got one truck over there. We've got half a truck of gold that's already loaded over there. I mean, I kind of feel that's okay. You know, we'll just we'll just sort of lump it. We'll just we'll just take that loss. I need to get that bit of road built in order to ensure that my gold is going to continue to flow. Because otherwise, I'm going to take a th massive thirty-eight grand payment right over here. Yep, which is worrying, of course. And then that's not going to allow me to to do much more. Okay, is the gold still going to come come through on the trucks? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, that's okay. This is okay. This is this is a, a much better setup. Is is it going to be is it going to be enough? Is the claw train the single claw train going to be enough to to handle all of the gold? It does take rather a long time to get all the way across from where it needs to be. Yeah, and also we don't have very many bits over here. Let's enable gold over here as well. Sure. Okay, hold up. Okay, we're still loading, we're still loading gold down here. Right, no resources. In fact, just straight up ditch that and give me the money. Okay, that's, that's a tough pill to swallow. I just sell a whole bunch of, uh, I sell a whole bunch of truck stuff and I'm left with no money at the end of it. Wonderful. Okay. I mean, I, I do want to reconnect this, but I don't want to reconnect it right now on account of that would just be a little bit silly given our financial circumstances at the moment, but that's okay. Yeah, what are we what are we doing over here with this with this iron? Is this going is this going somewhere that's that's necessary? I mean, this iron could just honestly be shipped shipped off on the back of a truck right now. There's no reason that it needs to be here. Oh yeah, it's waiting to get picked up. We're just, we're using too much coal, I guess. So it's just never getting picked up. Is that the situation? All right, I mean, that's fine because I mean, all of the resources are being diverted to the research labs. There we go. Okay, I mean, we have got a ridiculous amount of research points, ridiculous amount of research points and still no sign of being able to unlock the unlock gate. That's good, that's nice, lovely to see. Okay, we need to increase the amount of we need to increase the amount of storage that we have over here for gold, because that is really a bit of a problem. Uh, okay, here's a plan. I got a, I got an idea. Unpause. When's my next payment going to come out? It's going to come out pretty soon. Going to have to work quickly. Going to have to work quickly. Okay, ditch, ditch this, ditch that, 
ditch this. Cool, nice, happy days. I'm quite happy, by the way, for this apparatus to sort of continue to exist down here. There's no reason to, to move it up. Uh, the claw train, maybe, is a reason it's a little bit slow. But I think that it's okay. So what I need to do is I need to clear this. And I need to allow, for the briefest of time, a little access route for my gold to get through here. There we go. Yep, there we go. Sell off all three trucks of gold, and that will that will tide me over just fine and dandy. I mean, this must be this must be a brand new weight record output. Not quite yet, although I do feel like we're pretty darn close. I also just want to start shipping off. I just want to start shipping off like basic resources as well, even though. I mean, it makes so much more sense to, to ship off refined iron, doesn't it? As opposed to just the regular ore. But, you know, it's so it's so easy to, to do it over here. It's so easy to do. Okay, ditch that, ditch that. And then a little bit of straight road. Perfect. What do you know? That is, that is totally sorted. That is totally, totally, totally sorted. Okay, so this setup that we've got going on over here. Honestly, we can probably scale this up just a little bit if we need to. If we ever need to get to the if we ever need to get to the point where we need more gold or more coal or more anything really, we can we can quite comfortably make that work. But what I want to improve is is really the rate at which I'm refining stuff because I feel like I'm not really not really refining stuff at the speed that I that I want to be refining at. And this is one of the problems over here. We've not left enough track. We've not left enough track. There we go. So do that. My my finances are are feeling pretty darn good. Get all those points claimed. 1.6 million points. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ludicrous. Uh, let's get some refiners in here. There we go. Lots and lots of refiners in this area so that we can process that much more coal. Why is this straight up just not working? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it this is an issue. So... If this system fills up, then it becomes a nightmare to fix. So we need to make sure that it absolutely does not fill up. At least as much as one can reasonably ensure that, you know, a crate system doesn't fill up. I mean, the way that we do that, the way that we do that is by having a ridiculously long minecarts, right? That's, that's the way in which we do it. That's the way, that's the way that we solve the problem. Okay, but this, this 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 setup is looking really, really good. I'm really happy with it. I think that it's just going to allow the trucks to move that little bit faster. Uh, what I have neglected to do is get a final... There we go. A final truck depot over there. We'll enable all resources. Put that on high priority as well. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Why did you only pick up a couple of crates over there? That's a bit bit of a worry. But that's okay. How, how are we doing over in Goldland? Goldland is maybe a slight exaggeration. I mean, Goldland is actually doing great. The thing is, is that I don't think we need all of these refineries. Yeah, we need more. We need more gold in Goldland. Unironically, can you believe it? We need more gold in Goldland. And I actually think that we need a substantially larger amount of gold in Goldland because this is. I mean, this area is is working well, but I mean. It's built for a, a larger amount of scale than what we currently have. Now, there is gold over here. There is gold all the way over here. And we could move it across. We could move it across. But I don't think that I really value gold that much or enough to, like, move it all the way across. What have we got going on over here? This this setup needs to, needs to be improved for sure. Uh, do we want to get another crate maker over here? Another crate maker and add it to this claw line? I mean, this is like this is like the powerhouse of the factory right now. It's actually looking and feeling and working quite well, but we're not getting we're not getting enough iron out of here, or we're not getting enough coal out of here. Sorry, should I say we're not getting enough coal or out, and we're not processing enough coal or just at all. Uh, first of all, let's get some pickup points here, which I've completely neglected to do. That's a pickup point. That's a drop off point. Okay, so that should theoretically make things just that little bit better. And hopefully we'll be able to get through this massive, massive backlog over here. Could definitely do with getting another another crate system. 
because at the moment we're only using four out of the six claws, so we could definitely do with another crate layer. That would be quite nice. But this is this is fine, this is fine, this is a totally fine situation to be in. Uh, we can pump out another crate layer right over here. Crate layer? It's not a crate layer at all. Is that connected? Oh my god, this is... It's... It's the world's stupidest dude plays a video game for 20 minutes, doesn't realize that he hasn't connected up a crate maker. Oh my god, I feel, I feel like an idiot. But you know what? You live, you learn. You know, you move on. You move on with your life. That's, that's always, that's always got to be the way, the way that you think. Okay, put that on as a high priority. There we go. And there I was talking about how, how this area is like the powerhouse of production. No, that's an exaggeration. A total exaggeration. A mischaracterization of exactly what's happening. Okay, but we are going to need another crate maker. Yeah, so get that sorted. There we go. And... One more unload station, please. Put that on high priority as well for drone pickup. Great. I mean, maybe we could make this slightly more efficient, but I mean, at the moment, the drones are are all moving less distance, which I think is just an absolute positive. I could... I think I can increase drone speed a little bit. Right, how am I looking... How, how much am I moving? I'm moving I'm moving more product. I'm definitely moving more product. But not enough to get the the next unlock. Well, enough to move enough to do this, but uh, processed a certain amount of specific resource in your resource base. I mean maybe I just have to leave it in the resource base for, for a bit. See what happens. Yeah, but we can definitely we can definitely do more over here. Definitely do more over here. Yeah, but it definitely needs to be turned into the appropriate, turned into the appropriate crate at the end over here. Really, you're kidding me? I just I lose I lose all the forty eight grand just at the just at the moment where I needed to to make that happen, and I still don't have enough. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 Come on. One more. There we go. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Is that track still not long enough? There we go. Make it just that little bit longer. I could make it circular, you know? I could make it circular. That might that might fix our problems. I say that, but it might not. Uh, having two crate makers, as I've already talked about over here, is a little bit of a problem. I think that we can bump that up to another one, maybe. Is there enough space, though? That's going to be the real question. Uh, oh, I need crate maker. There is going to be enough space. There is going to be enough space. Grant. At least for one more. For one more, that's a, that's a doozy, as they say, I think. I don't know. Is that what they, is that what they say? Is, is, is that really what they say? Uh, I should turn this around. Yeah, turn this around. Turn my life around. Make some better factories. Feel a little bit better about myself. You know, you know that sort of thing. Okay. Unload station of two length. Yeah, let's increase the length of the unload stations. Ditch this. Ditch that, ditch that, ditch that, ditch that, ditch that, ditch that, ditch that. Okay, cool. And then let's reconnect this. The reason that I want two, two long load stations is it means that we can hold more product on the belt, which is exactly what we need to do in order to in order to get that little bit extra. Hold on. Straight, straight out here. There we go, and wonderful. Okay, man, I love this. I love this game. I absolutely adore this game. It's like Factorio. It's exactly the same as Factorio. I mean, it's not exactly the same as Factorio. That's a complete mischaracterization of the, the game. The point that I'm trying to make is that I love the way in which Factorio, you know, constantly forces you to reevaluate, you know, the systems that you've got in place and, and you know, how, how everything's working. Uh, but this game is, is exactly the same. It really is in that sense that you need to constantly be checking, am I building something that works or am I building something that needs a substantial amount of improvement? It's it's constantly testing you, and I love that. 
You know, there is no reason why we have this wrong down here. Actually, there is. What am I talking about? Okay, now I have insufficient funds. All right, well, that's great. I'm sure we'll, we'll have a truck in just a second. Just, you know, just ignore me. Just reconnect that up there. I was thinking we could have done... We could have just connected that up to there, but of course, it forms a loop, and that is actually quite important. Okay, add a bunch of claws. Just add as many claws as we possibly can. Not for any particular reason other than the fact that it should theoretically help means that we're going to be able to get just those just those extra those extra few resources now this area up here should now be working to pretty much full efficiency we should be yep we should be taking the entire contents of the train and you know what maybe we'll even get one more carriage just in case we should be we should be taking the full contents of the train out and we should be sticking it onto lorries now which is exactly what seems to be happening that's good. Uh, we could think about getting another road entry and or another road exit. Honestly, that might be that might be something that we do. That might very well be something that we do, but I don't think we need to do it right now. Uh, okay, wow. We we are currently on a record month. Yeah, wowzers. That's real good. Okay, what I need to do, first of all, check the research. Anything? Can I research anything? This? No. No, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But I can research over here. Okay, so what what can I do? I can get minecart, minecarts per track, max claw trains per track, train interval or truck interval. I mean, I could get truck interval. That would be not too bad. Uh, minecart highway speed as well. Let's get truck interval. Truck interval. I mean, let's just max out. I mean, I have a ridiculous number of research points at the moment, so there's no reason not to to get that. Okay, sure. So minecart speed is now is now as max as it possibly can be. I do believe there's there's no place there's no place that it can go higher. Uh, claw train speed is maybe next on the list. I say next on the list. Let's just get it get it done. Uh, that takes me down below the threshold needed to unlock. Oh no, no it doesn't. I still have more than enough more than enough to do that. Okay, cool. All right, so this is this is looking and feeling a heck of a lot better. Look at all the trucks that we've got coming in. Oh man, this is great. This is this is fantastic. This is this is real real good. Real real good. Okay, are we filling up? Are we filling up with the with the good stuff? We're filling up with the good stuff and it seems to be working. Great. All right. And this whole process seems to be working a lot smoother now. A lot lot smoother. Yeah. Let's increase the number of carts that we have on this on this track. Yeah, and you know what? I am actually going to circularize this this track. I know I talked. I know I talked about how I didn't feel like I needed to do it, and I still, to be honest, don't think that we need to do it. But if I do do it, then that means it's a heck of a lot easier. It's a heck of a lot easier to to deal with the length of the train rather than just building like a large long track down there. The thing about building a large long track after the area in which you want to we go yeah so the problem with having a large long track that just sort of hangs down to allow all the carriages to get under the the sucky nozzle uh the problem with doing that is that uh you know by the time by the time the train is extended or the the time the minecart has extended all the way past the the sucky nozzle you're pretty much there you know you're pretty much you're pretty much already halfway back you're pretty much halfway back home already which is a bit you know it's a bit lame isn't it okay so that's that this is looking and feeling a heck of a lot better than it once was. Uh, we're going to need to get some more carts on this track. Let's just max that out. Sure. That's probably overkill, but it should theoretically mean that we're able to process a heck of a lot more coal over here. And I think this is the this is honestly the the issue. We're not being we're not able to process enough coal. This area is working just about as efficiently as I could like it to, to work. Yeah, really genuinely very, very happy with that. That's real good. Okay. Uh, any any update on research? No. Nope. nope. No update. No update on research. I'm thinking about it, though. I, I, I am thinking about it. How are we doing over in Goldland? I mean, honestly, maybe we just get more... Maybe we get more gold production? I mean, that seems kind of silly. I think I would prefer to get more coal production. 
See, the thing is that we don't actually need coal production. Yeah, we don't actually need coal production. We don't actually need coal production. Uh, what I can do... Can I... I can unload onto a... Yeah, I can unload... Oh, no, I can't unload onto a skiff belt, can I? The, the, the step conveyor. Let me have a look. I can't even... I can't even remember. This game has got such a sort of niche... Yeah, it doesn't interact. I knew it. It's got such a niche way of handling problems. It really is very, very cool. Very, very interesting. Okay, so that means that maybe... I was thinking that we could maybe set up a sort of similar system that we have over in the gold factory, where we've got... where we've got a bunch of, like, arms that travel between... between areas. That that was my, my perhaps... that was my, my thought, maybe, on how we... on how we handle that, but... Yeah, honestly, maybe we just get more... maybe we just get more gold. Maybe we just get more gold. Can I cross tracks? Can I cross uh, minecart tracks? I don't think so. I think that that is strictly prohibited. Yeah, okay. So minecart, crossing minecart tracks, strictly prohibited. Uh, I mean, we can build over. We can build over the the minecart track over there. Let me see if we can... Let me see if we can put a, a door in this factory. If I was to build... If I was to build that in there. Would that work? No, I don't I don't think so. I don't think that's going to fly. Okay, what I need to do is I need to figure out a way to get In fact, I know I know exactly the way that I'm going to do it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to we are going to we are going to tap into this gold source over here. And this is going to be this is going to be this is going to be fantastic. Okay. So three mining rigs. Yep. Let's get uh let's pause. Let's pause and deal with this. Okay. Then we'll get connectors right over here. Right over here. Right over there. Is this going to work nice and easily? Great question. Don't know. I mean, this is this is guaranteed not to work nice and nice and easily, is it? This is just gonna. This is just gonna be. This is just gonna be awful. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, well, let's take that back a little bit. Yep. So far, not so good. Okay. Build from under the transfer tube. How about that? Yeah, build from under the transfer tube. That's fine. Yeah, and then there's no way that that is going to link up in a way that I like it. Okay. Do... That's not even going to link up. Uh, okay, do that. And then ditch that nozzle there. And instead get a dump pipe right over there. Okay, this is going to work. This is going to work. Okay, so we're going to have a long distance, a long distance minecart. A long distance minecart to get the resources from where they need to go to where they uh, to where they are at present. There we go. Okay. Wonderful. So do I want to make this track circular? You bet your bottom dollar I do not want to do that. So let's just extend the track out the end so that we can, you know, allow space for the, the minecart uh, the minecart train to go past. Is it is it actually straight up just easier just to get a power station like right over here? I think it actually might be. Right, do that. I mean, that you know that uh, puts a little bit of a, but it's a little bit of a dent in our bank balance. But it'll be worth it. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna bring the track all the way across here. This is gonna be this is gonna be a saga, an absolute saga. Okay. All the way over here. Yep. Unpause. Wait for a little bit more financing. There we go. And then right over here. <laughs> nice. And then I want a big I want to I want to drop off first and then I want this. Oh, we need we need we need 30 grand. We need 30 grand. But I think that you can you can see what I'm getting at. We're going to use this train right over here uh, in order to to deliver bits and bobs. Bits and bits and bobs. Bits and bobs of gold. You know what? Well, we could do it with we could do it with a small one, but I want to do I want to do it with a big one. That's right. Okay, that is thirty six grand. Let's let's do it with this. Okay, do, 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 do. big like that, and then suck up from here. There we go, and then let's just get the last few bits and bobs in place, just like so. 
and extend that up there. Okay, I mean, we don't have any finances to build a train, but I mean, we should start to see all of these mining rigs over here accumulate gold. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is far too, this is far, far too big. I tell you what, this gives us a really good excuse to get extra minecart uh, uh, carriages on, on the train. Yeah, that's in fact, that's in fact a really, really good point. Okay, let's get this. Let's get that. Let's get, uh, we can't even, can't even do that. Okay, but we will, we will do it. We will do it in time. Anyway, what the heck have I done here? That's not, that's not the brightest idea that I've ever had. Not even close. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, right. Well, this is, this is a bit of an unexpected, an unexpected surprise, Mr. Bond. Okay, ditch all that, ditch all that, and then get the piping set up over here. Am I going to have the money before the next sector? Who, who knows? Before the next uh, power, power sector, power cycle is the term that I, that I was looking to use. 10 grand in order to get a pump. That's, that's a joke. That's ridiculously expensive. And then get the dump over there. Okay, pause, because I actually have a decent amount of money right now. And, you know, getting past the sort of hurdle is quite important. There we go. Okay, nice. So, let's get, let's start the trucks off here. Add a bunch of carts, as many as we possibly can. And unpause. Okay, great. So, here's what should happen. Is we should have a train that is filled entirely with with gold. It's, I mean, it's it's going to take a while to mine the gold, but that's okay. That's exactly how we want it. This entire, this entire train is going to move all the way across this track. A heck of a long way, I would hasten to add. And it's going to be deposited into this big container right here. It's This container is going to store solely gold. It's going to be only, only gold. And that's going to allow us to feed in yet more resources into the gold uh, the gold factory, which is working, which is working, I would say, at about 50% production. If you have a look at the number of um, refiners that we actually have on at the moment, on and working, that is, it's nowhere near where it needs to be, and it's nowhere near capacity. So if we get a little bit of extra gold, then that will that will really help out and uh, you know sort of speed up the process. But I mean this 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 system seems to be working. This system absolutely seems to be working. This is this is working an absolute charm. We we have never ever been making been making more stuff, and that's that's a joy that's a joy to behold. How are we doing over here? Yeah, we're not doing we're not doing badly. This ridiculously long train. Yeah, it is a bit ridiculous actually now that I think about it. But I mean it's it's not it's not bad, it's just it's it's ridiculous. That's that's the point. How are we doing over here? Not great. We need to we need to work on our we need to work on our game. Our iron game over here. We're wasting we're wasting resources. Uh, that can be deleted. It's not necessary. Everything else I think is running reasonably smoothly. Yeah, still no closer to unlocking that. Uh, pretty darn close to unlocking unlocking that, if I'm allowed to, that is. I guess we'll wait and see. I'm going to claim a whole bunch of points. Yeah, just get them banked. There we go. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I feel like maybe I've gone a little bit OTT on the whole research lab front, and instead of you know, dealing with, uh, with research labs, I should be dealing with, I should be dealing with just shipping and receiving stuff. But that's not really, that's not really important, you know, what's important is that we, we have a good time, having a good time is always, is always of paramount importance. Okay, so, presumably one train has delivered resources. Okay, yeah, get a few more carts. There we go, there we go. Okay, so it looks like, it looks like this many carts will be a completely adequate number to deal with. Yeah, I think that this is, this is totally fine. 11, maybe even 10, maybe even 10, 10, 10 maybe is, is, is the exact number that we require. But you know, we'll, we'll leave it as is now, just so, just so that we can add a little bit of extra. A little bit of extra capacity if we need to. Okay, yeah, and this is this is looking this is looking and feeling really good. 
Yeah, nice. Okay, good. So we should be getting we should be getting all of our gold processed, and it should be I mean giving us giving us that little bit of extra money. There's a couple of a couple of bits of iron over here, uh, a couple of little bits of uh, of gold that needs to be picked up over here, but that's fine because I mean the, if this container is empty, then that means that that means that everything is looking good and is working completely as intended, which is just grand. That's just just grand. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's see the train come into the come into the depot and drop off all of the copious amounts of gold. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. That's real nice. That's real nice. And this is this is what's going to help us get to the next level. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I almost wish that there was something that we could take back from this area over here rather than just running empty empty minecart trains. But it's not a problem. I mean, look at this. We're making we're making money hand over fist. This is ridiculous. I feel like I shouldn't be making money this fast because I have got so many research labs. It feels criminal. It really does. It feels criminal. Okay, how much for Man, that's a full train. That is a that is a full house. Well, that's real good. And the crates are all being created. That's all working fine. The number of lorries that we have coming down the uh, coming down the highway is good. It's still not fast enough though because we need trains and we're not getting trains yet because whatever. But it's good. It's good for sure. It's it's good for sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah, coal. I mean, can we add more coal? We could add more coal. Oh my goodness. I've I've got an idea. I've just had the idea of the century. That's a total exaggeration. That's a total exaggeration, but I know what I know what I'm gonna do. I know what my next project is. Here's here's the next project. I'll tell you right now. So we're gonna have a dumpy dumpy. We're gonna have a dumpy dumpy there. Can't build here. Why not? Is it because it's too close to the edge? I think it might be just too, too close to the edge. That's fine. Okay, dumpy dumpy there. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer actually. Can I move this? Can I move this just over a smidge? Yeah. Only connects to straight tracks. Yeah, fine. Okay. E yeah, okay, that's that's much more that's much more like what I was expecting. So what I'm thinking is that we've got a coal deposit over here. We've got a coal processing factory over here. Why don't we link these two areas up? That would certainly seem like the logical thing to do. And we can just get that, you know, that little bit more, that little bit more coal production. Because at the moment, I'm pretty certain that all of my refineries are sort of working at like, yeah, working at like half capacity. Certainly, they could be doing better. They could absolutely be doing better. And so, that's what we need to try and do. That's what we need to try and do. Okay, so, let's get, uh, let's get mining rigs set up. We can just get a sort of track. I keep clicking that flipping track button. We just get a track. We get a get an output over there. Output over here. Yep, and an output over there. Okay, and then drop off. Drop off, and that's gonna have to be different. Fine. Okay. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do this again. Clicking, clicking the wrong button. Ooh, that's irritating. That's unbelievably irritating. Okay, take that back. Take that back. Take that back. Fine. Okay. Track is going to come down this way. Sure. Up here. Around here. That's just a smidgen too tight, unfortunately. Hate when that happens. Okay, can't build here. That's a smidgen. That's a smidgen too wide. You see, there's a happy medium. That's too tight again. Take that back. There we go. Okay, and then we move this to the side. Unload, just like so. And then, I think the best way to do it is like this. And like this, 
yeah, I think that that's straight up the best way. We want to kind of alternate the, alternate, you know, whether, whether it's, we want to alternate sort of like vertical to horizontal to vertical, and that will, will mean that we won't have any, any issues. Hold up, pause, 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 pause. Right, so connect this up, and this will actually allow us for the first time to use this, this track a heck of a lot more efficiently than we are currently using it. So we can have resources coming in over here. And then what's going to happen when we get to here is I'm going to take this back. Yep, take this back on a temporary basis. Temporary, temporary, temporary basis. We're going to have a suck up section. That's right. And then we're going to have, we're going to have just track that goes under here like this. Wonderful. And that works. That works an absolute dream. And so like like that gold train that we've got, you know, sort of half the world away, we're just going to be using the extra capacity of this train over here to deal with uh, to deal with yet more coal from another source. Okay, so now all I need to do is make sure that it all gets connected up properly. And we've now run out of power. Apparently, uh, I think I can connect, I think I can connect this area up, right? There we go. No, apparently not. Apparently not. Well, what I can do is there we go. This is what I'm going to do in order to save money. There we go. That will definitely save money. I mean, it's twenty-five. It's twenty-five grand for a power station, so that's quite a lot of that's quite a lot of money. That's quite a lot of money. But if we if we do that, then uh, then we'll save we'll save a heck of a lot. Okay. So I'm expecting I'm expecting right now to blow past this six thousand uh, this six thousand target. I really do think that with the combination of the extra gold coming in, look at this. This train is almost full. This gold train is almost full, and that has almost never been the case before. So with the combination of the the gold train, with the combination of the extra. Oh, you. You. Complete idiot, potato. You complete idiot. I once again don't do the transfer tubes properly. I, why, why is it? Why is it? Why is it that sometimes I'm just so stupid? It, it just it, it beggars belief, doesn't it? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, get that connected up. You know what? And I bet everyone, everyone was screaming at home. Potato, you're an idiot. What are you doing? I agree. All I can say is I agree. I agree with you. I'm with you on that one. But you know what? The great news is that it's a relatively easy fix. And very little productive time was wasted. There we go. Uh, yep. Nice, 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 nice. In fact, it does actually make things just that little bit easier. Cool. And down. Nice. Nice. Okay, there we go. Just like, just like that. So let's wait for this train to come back around, and then let's uh, let's shove it full of let's shove it full of coal ore and get that ore processed. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! This is this is feeling grand. This is feeling good. This is feeling glorious. Oh yeah! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that wonderful coal ore. Okay, then that's gonna go over here. Great. There doesn't need to be any special connections over here. Nope. That's all fine. And they get everything sucked up over here. Grant. All right, so that's going to be this factory working. Maybe not to 100% fully, but certainly a heck of a lot closer. Is that, how much iron ore is that? That's a ridiculous amount of iron ore. That is a truly ridiculous amount of iron ore. We conceivably need to try and get some more, need to try and get some more refineries over here. Yeah, because that is, that is not good. We've 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 not we're not using to the fullest extent the resources that we've got here. Certainly, we should at least be shipping the excess like away. Uh, is there any way to do that? Uh, great question. Not really. It's just all being sucked up into research labs. I guess you know what. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with it being all sucked up into research labs. Yeah, it's not money that's the issue. It's getting this weight goal. That's the issue, right? And that's the that's the problem, is that we need to make sure that we hit that weight goal. 
Okay, are we starting to build up? Yeah, we're starting to build up the amount of the amount of gold that we've got over here. So give me max claw trains per track. Give me the absolute max that we can get. Yeah, up to 18. And that should help us shunt gold just a little bit quicker. Yeah. Are we maxing these, these crate makers out? I don't think so, not yet. Yeah, okay. Go click on some more factories, get a bunch more points. Yeah. Nice. And then just continue with that. Yeah, so this this track system needs to come out a little bit further. Yeah, and by a little bit further I mean a heck of a lot further. So that we can so that we can empty more resource onto the belt. That's the wrong type of track. There we go. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Okay. So that should theoretically allow us to unload all of our gold. Almost all of it. More than all of it. Okay, great. Happy, happy days. That's really, really good. We've got 30 gold over here. I mean, if we've got any gold building up in the tank, then that means that we are not supplying enough claw hands to move the gold to where it needs to go to. Yeah, I think I think I kind of get how coal, coal ore is refined into coal. Yeah, that, that does kind of make sense. Okay, get, get more... Get more claw hands. I think that's what we that's what we need over here. Get more claw hands. Yeah, sure. There we go. A few more claw hands should make all the difference. Okay, great. Yeah. I'm wondering, is this track just too large now? Is it just too is it too big? Oh, we can add more we can add more carts, which almost certainly will help things slightly. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we should be able to get everything get everything moved across. What I worry is that when this system reaches maximum capacity, we might have some issues. We might have some issues, but at the moment we don't have any issues. No, everything everything seems fine. Everything seems fine at the moment. And it doesn't look like we're super close to hitting hitting our max. Even if we are, even if we are, I'm sure we can do something about that. And we can, we can change it around a little bit. Okay. So almost every refiner, with the exception of that last refiner, got a resource to, to consume. Which is pretty darn good going. Is that the case just sort of across the board, really, I think? Yeah, I think. Well, not often actually. These two, these two didn't. These two, these two refiners didn't get any there. So that's a little bit of waste, you know. That's that's waste that we could, we could change. That we could change and channel into something positive and productive. Yeah, this setup is woefully inadequate. Yeah, this is gonna have to change. This is gonna have to change. We've got too much iron in here, and it's just not doing anything. We need to get. You know, sort of like like we've got a coal processing facility. We need to get a proper iron processing facility because at the moment it's just it's just not good enough. As I've said, it's just not good enough. Okay, we should be moving more and more tons than we've ever moved before, or sh we should be pretty darn close to it. I would say. Yeah, that's that's on gold. I'm gonna put that on all, and I'm gonna put you on all as well. Let's just put absolutely everything on on all. Sure. In fact, no, not you for gold, and not you for gold either. Because it's just ridiculously far away for for the gold to be transported over there. Okay, what about the coal coming in from over here? It's not too, it's not too bad. What's the price per, per thousand? Price for gold is... Price for gold, where is it? Where is it? Coal. Iron. Coal. Okay, so... Gold is still the best, but it's only the best by about 400 bucks, which is not super large. Okay, yeah, this is this is looking and feeling a heck of a lot better. How many how many thousands of kilograms are we outputting at the moment? I mean, we at max we output 3000 3 at max we put out we output 3 we, we output 5820. That is way off the target, the way off the target of whatever it is 25,000, I think. That is absolutely ludicrous. 
That is absolutely ludicrous. I don't even know. I don't even know where... I don't even know where we find that extra that extra efficiency. I mean, well, first of all, we start off, I guess, with with fixing this iron setup. Yeah, I mean, this has got to change. This has absolutely got to change here. Yeah, okay. Ditch this. Ditch the entirety of this area. I'm unhappy with it. I'm unhappy with it. Okay. So, let's get the resources picked up by... Let's get the resources picked up by Claw Train over here, and then let's just plonk down a couple of extra refineries. Yep, one, two, three. Nope. Not even really. That's fine. Okay, just do a load station. Yep. Yep, and then unload station. Yep, yep, yep. And then we should be able to make two loops out of this. So we'll have this train that is currently going around on this pretty pretty crazy cycle over here. We'll get that going around on one loop there. So we're going to load from there to there to there. And then we're going to have another loop that goes around here. Yep. And right over there. And then we're going to have drop off points there, there, there. And pick up points here and here. This isn't a permanent fix, by the way. But it's a... It's a good way... It's a good way to sort of temporarily fix the fact that we've got, you know, a ridiculous oversupply of iron. And absolutely, you know, nowhere for that iron to go. So that should fix things up just a little bit. Which is wonderful. There we go. Good stuff. I'm putting the right resources. Great. Yeah, a little bit too much. A little bit too much for for the amount of refineries that we have. But I mean, we might be able to get through. We might be able to get through that backlog, and that's that's kind of what what's important. So we'll do that. Let's claim some more points. Any more luck on getting the research done? No. We need to get six thousand. We need to get six thousand resources shipped, and that will allow us to. That will allow us to move forward with confidence and maybe, just maybe, pick up this pick up this thing, this 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 combiner, which I'm sure will make somewhat of a difference. Yeah, in terms of in terms of extra in terms of extra trucking facilities, I mean that is something that we can now think about getting. We've got the we've got the finances to make it happen. Uh, I'll place one down there and we'll we'll sort of see what we can do over here. I mean that would not be the craziest thing to do in the world. Yeah, in fact, that that actually might be that actually might be the best setup that we can possibly get over here. All right, so if I do that and then an exit point over there, okay. I mean that that actually that actually looks not too bad. Okay, put this on put this on medium. Yeah, we're gonna need more we're gonna need more drones, but maybe maybe that'll make a difference. It just means that we've got more truck stations, but we we still have the same amount of goods that need to be delivered to the trucks. Uh, yeah. Also, maybe we get another drone. I did destroy one like a gazillion years ago, so you know what? Get a get a thingy right there, and then more drones. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay. All right. I mean, this is this is chaos. This is chaos. I love it. I love I love chaos. That's me, Mister Doctor Robotnik. No, that's that. Is that a is that a reference? Is that a reference? Is that a reference? I mean, obviously it's a reference. Is it a is it a good one? I don't think so. I'm not a huge fan. Okay. Uh, maybe we get maybe we get some more some more robots some more robots to shift some some junk. I mean, valued product. Okay, that's enabled for gold, that's enabled for gold, that can be bumped up to high priority, that can be bumped up to high priority, that can be bumped up to high priority as well. Will that make any difference? I, I just I just don't know. Not entirely convinced that it uh, that it will. I'll tell you what I also can do. I can put uh, put that on and then that can skip every two. So that should allow us to unload two at the same time. I say that I'm not entirely sure if that'll be that'll be 
truthful. Let me see if I can reverse that a little bit. Yeah, so if I do this... There we go. Then that will allow me to... That will allow me to drop in two points. Which will allow me even more resources. Which is great. Okay, we've got 35 out of 120 gold over here. Turns out that adding that extra gold train, by the way, totally made the difference. We have now got a ridiculously large amount of gold, and every refinery seems to be working at pretty much full tilt. Which is pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Uh, we could certainly do... Oh my goodness, we've hit the 6,000 mark. Can I unlock this? I can't, but the reason that I can't is because I don't have enough points. Yeah, okay, I, I don't have enough points. Can I, can I collect from any... I cannot collect from any research labs or any research bays. Whatever, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to deal with that. We're gonna have to deal with that in the next episode, ladies and gents, because that is the end of this one. Thanks as ever to my fantastic patrons over at patreoncom forward slash Um Yeah, tune into the next episode of Automation Empire, where I think honestly, at the moment, we're outputting six thousand six thousand and sixty kilograms. Uh, in a three-month period. I think we're going to increase that. I think we're going to increase that, and I, I think we're going to increase it substantially in the next episode. Because uh, I think this this setup is, is pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. I'm really, really happy with it. It's looking... It's looking... It's all looking up. It's all looking up. I don't want to jinx it, but it's looking and feeling very, very decent. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.